sorry, I got distracted. Let's start from the beginning. How long have you been living as a djinn? I'm not a djinn. Are you sure? Yes, I'm 100% human. I could have swore you had a Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel thing going on, no? No! And that's not why I'm here, so I would appreciate it if you could focus on my actual problems right now. Right. Sorry. Let's, let's stay on track. Um, what exactly can I help you with today? Right, so, I need to know how to emotionally cope with the domestic violence going on between my cats. Why did she have to be a djinn? Hmm? I mean, you're telling me there was no better way to explain her powers? Right? <laughs> Am I the only one? <laughs> Sorry, you're right. Continue. As I was saying, it's been really difficult for me to wake up in the mornings and find my cats in different corners of the room and set up on my bed. Oof. I'm stressing out. This is bad. Jamila, can I call you Jamila? I can see this is going to be a very long conversation. And even though I'd love to have it right now, is there a way we could perhaps postpone this to a later time? You're the only guidance counselor in the school and I really need some guidance right now. Yeah, but I've got a lot of things going on in my own life. And to be honest with you, most students book appointments. You just kind of walked in here and started blabbing away. This right? is important to me. I need some help and it's your job to fix my problems. Not necessarily. And I think the best course of action would be to book an appointment with my secretary in the front and uh, we'll pick up this conversation on Monday, okay? How does that sound? <sighs> Please, continue. Anyway, so I feel like it's my fault that I brought in a fifth cat and I've split up the whole family, but I love Sophia so much, I couldn't get rid of her, but the guilt is keeping me up at night and I, I'm trying to get some help, but no one's taking the time to listen to what I actually have to say. Uh, you know, I once had a student, very, very weird girl. She used to get so stressed out before exams, she would start plucking out her hair one by one. I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told her. When life gives you lemons, make seven up. That was me. I told you that in confidence. You just go around telling other people my personal stories. Right, you're the one with the demonic possession. I'm not a djinn. That's exactly what a djinn would say. So tell me, how are you doing otherwise, health-wise? I'm glad you asked, cause I haven't been able to eat properly for the past several weeks and I think I've lost like five kilos in the past month. Good for you. You know, I try going to the gym once in a while, but it's just way too much effort. All the tight clothes and body odor. No, thank you. Are you serious? I could have an eating disorder. Right. Sure, of course. It's all about you. Thank you. Because nobody ever wants to ask the guidance counselor how they're doing, right? Just gotta sit here and listen to kids throw all their problems at you over and over and over again, back to back to back to back to back, like an emotional dumpster. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure your job is incredibly stressful. Oh, you wouldn't believe the weirdos that walk in here. <laughs> Crying about their cats and just, who cares? You know what I'm saying? It's just, it can be a lot to process, but you just gotta put on a smile and just pretend that you're doing great. Because if you don't, then they'll think there's something wrong with you. That sounds and... horrible. <laughs> you should really talk to someone about that. I'll try, but just nobody ever wants to take the time and listen. <laughs> to explain it properly, I'd have to go back to the beginning. My mother met my father at an MSA event in 1968 at the University of Western Kentucky and uh, it all went downhill from there.